it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I just bought this file um, from Perna Project. So you can see that on Etsy. I know because I always get questions on where I buy things. Um, all right, so this one, I normally don't buy such a big package because you'll see in a second, I'm gonna have a hard time finding all my images, which is annoying to me. So sometimes I'll pay 20 cents less, but I'll just have Woody because that's all I care about. But I've gotten so many requests for Toy Story that I feel like um, I will be making lots of cake toppers soon and maybe some banners. So that's why I opted for this big package, which I have a feeling I'm going to regret in a second. <laughs> so, all right, I've already purchased it. If you've purchased it, what you want to do is you need to go to where you, to download your files. So on Etsy, at least, it's purchases and reviews. And then you want to go to download files and it comes in a zip file, right? So let's see, what does this say? Um, all right. Well, I just want the SVG. So it's this one. I'm going to download this. I don't need the JPEG and there is a free bonus one that I guess I should download right now as well, but okay. So once it's open, or what you want to do is I'm going to go to this one and click, oops, you can't see it. Give me a second. Let me move my face. All right. So it's down here. It's, um, I will click on this and click show in folder. And here it is under my download. So I'm going to, I wonder if, can I rename it right now? Oh, I can rename it. Okay. So this is um, Toy Story bonus files. I like to rename it because then I can find it later. Um, bonus files, okay, so that's good. I'm gonna rename this one. So Toy Story SVG, okay. So double click on the one you want and double click here as well. So we gotta go, oh man, we have to go find our file. Okay, oh good, this tells us what it is. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab this one and I'm going to move it to my desktop. Okay, so we're gonna do Woody today. Um, so let's go to Design Space. Let's go to a new project. Oh my gosh, let me move my face. <laughs> Hopefully you saw that, I'm sorry. All right, let's go to Upload. Upload image, browse, and you have to find it. So we put it on our desktop, it's 001, it's right there. And there's Woody, so we're gonna, oops, you know what? Darn it. I should have saved him with the name Woody so that I can find it another time. But right now, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna insert my image Okay, so here is Woody, and what you wanna do is you wanna just take a look at what we have. Woody is crazy, because let's see. He's got, here's the yellow, and the black is sitting on top, and then there's all his white. So he's got a full black image in the back, and then it looks like wherever there's black, it's sitting on top as a different image. Okay, interesting. All right, so what's nice is, let's see, the legs are gonna be the longest part here. So let's zoom out for a second. Let's look at this image completely. So, man. The yellow is going to have the black on top. So this can only be 11 inches. But I think, you know, so like, let's look at this. So if this is 11 inches, another 11 inches, another 11. I think he can be about 33 inches, no, no problems. So let's do, Do you wanna do him at 40 inches? Let's just see at 40 inches, see how big he is, okay? And let's zoom out. So we know the the legs are gonna be the our biggest problem. So let's look at this blue. Let's ungroup it and isolate it so we can see what the dimensions are of the blue. 
So here's the blue and it includes this top part. So let's go to contour and let's see what we have. Okay, so let's con let's hide all. That leaves us one pant leg. Let's see how big that is. Oh, 7.4 by 9.4. So at 40 inches, this piece right here is still seamless. So everything else is going to be seamless because this is our longest part. Um, we know the yellow is kind of long, but let's look at the yellow for a second. Um, okay, so here is our yellow. But our yellow we can slice out right around here. You know what? We can slice it right at the arms. Yeah, you wouldn't really notice it because you're gonna have, let's see, you're gonna have this sitting on top. So we could even choose to slice it right here on this line. Well, let's see how big this thing is. So this is, yeah, so if we sliced it, I wonder if we sliced it at the arm. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave this black on here so that we can see it. We're good with this, right? So let's start working on our yellow. So let's bring in this circle and I'm going to, I'm gonna slice it right here. So I'm gonna take this circle and make it really, really big and I'm gonna cover everything of the yellow on this side. So you see how I'm doing it right? Let's, um, if you unlock it, we can change this circle a little bit to mimic this line right here. Okay, so we're gonna slice it right there. So we have our circle, hit the shift key, and we're gonna slice out the yellow right here. Even though, our black is right there. We are only selecting two items to slice. So let's slice this and see what we have, okay? This is, he's gonna look good. That's that's the main thing that we want. Okay, so now this is 5.2 by 11, so perfect, right? We can cut that with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. And the black is gonna sit on top and it's gonna cover that seam. So here. Let's move this black on top. Arrange, send to the front. And I'm gonna show you. So right where that seam is, look it, the black is gonna cover it. So it's gonna be so awesome. Let's look at this, the rest of this and see how big this piece is. So this piece is 12.1 by 7.3. Perfect, we don't even need to slice it anymore because what we'll do is, so, this is 12 inches wide, right? So it's measuring the most far left to the most far right. So if I rotate this a little bit like this, it's now 11.5 by 8.3, rotate it a little bit more. It's now 11 inches by 8.8. .8. We can cut it, yes! <laughs> so the yellow is seamless, okay? So that is going to be amazing. All right, so let's look at this black. This black piece obviously is too big. We can do the same thing. We can slice it right here. If we use black glitter cardstock, you won't even notice it. But if you want to use regular black cardstock, where would you slice it to make this the best? I would probably slice it like right here. It's so minimal, I don't even think you would notice it. So this way you don't have to use black glitter cardstock. You can use regular cardstock. Let's get rid of our slice results down here first. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Let's get rid of this, delete that. Okay, so let's go and um, let's bring in that same circle and we're gonna slice it right around here. And I think by slicing it right there, you Again, with using regular black cardstock, you will barely notice the seams. And let's do it right. Let's unlock this and make sure that that's included. So let's make this a little bit bigger like this. Okay. 
Okay, so I think that's a good spot right there. I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. Okay, so let's grab this and slice. So now this arm is 6.1 by 11.6. So again, on this one, it's measuring the top to the bottom. If we just rotate this a little bit, then you have 11.4 by 6.5, perfect. And then let's get this out of the way, this out of the way, and let's look at this. This is 11 by seven, perfect. And let's just piece this back together. I know I rotated it, but you're not even gonna notice. And you know what, you don't even, don't attach it perfectly. Just put it like that. It's just two pieces. You won't even notice the seams. So that, these two pieces are perfect so far. Let's look at this hat. Okay, this hat is gonna be a little bit of a problem because it's 11.6 by 11.623. So the lower measurement is the 11.623, right? So this is the height. What I would do is I would rotate it just a little bit more, just a little bit to get it under 11.5. Okay, so this is perfect. This is now 11.38 by 11.9. Technically, Design space is gonna say you need a 12 by 24 mat and you need bigger paper than 12 by 12. But as long as one of your measurements is under 11.5, which in this case, 11.38, we can take this and put it on a 12 by 12 mat and just trick the system. We're gonna pretend we have a larger mat. We're just gonna feed it into, this, into our machine and it's gonna cut all the way almost to the edge. You're gonna line your paper up to the 12 by 12 mark and it's gonna cut even though it shouldn't because it'll say it only cuts to 11.5. But we're gonna trick the system and say, yes, we have a 12 by 24 mat and we have paper that's bigger than 12 by 12. And you just feed it in and it's gonna go all the way to 11.9. So just make sure that when we're lining this up, which I'm gonna show you when we go to the Make It page, that you line it above the 12 mark and you have your paper going all the way to the 12. It will cut perfectly, I promise. <laughs> all right, so we're moving that aside. That's gonna look amazing as well because it is seamless. All right, so here are our Oh, this is all, okay, we'll deal with that in a second. Let's go to the pants. So the pants, we need to go back and contour everything back. So let's click on hide all and then show all. Okay. So we need to separate this out because, um, yeah, it's too long and too big, right? So this is in three pieces. So what we wanna do is we're gonna use contour. So when we're using contour, if we wanna separate it, however many pieces you wanna separate it into is the number of copies you need. So I wanna separate this into three pieces. So I need three copies. So let's go to contour and separate out the first piece, okay? So the easiest way to do this is click hide all. It will get rid of everything but this top piece. But the top piece, we want these little dots, so we're gonna bring them back. We're gonna click on those and bring back these little pieces. So now look, there's our pant leg with everything, with the other two pieces gone and with the holes back in. So now let's go to the next piece and go to contour. And we're gonna click hide all again. This time we want this one, we don't want this one. So that was easy, there's our piece up there and then we need the other pant leg. Let's go to contour, hide all. So when you click hide all, it always leaves us the top piece, right? Because if it hid everything, literally that piece would just all disappear, right? So hide all means leave everything but one. So we have that, but we want this pant leg. So we don't want the top one, we deselect that. And then we want all these holes in there. So we're gonna click on the holes. And then there's our pant leg with all the holes. So that's perfect as well. So let's grab all these and move it over. Oops. Okay, so I'm kind of moving everything over as we're done with them. This is gonna be a lot, so I'm not working on it yet. <laughs> let's look at this. 
Okay, so let's zoom in so that we can see this white. Okay, so here it is. Now, these little pieces are kind of small, as well as this. I'm tempted to weld it all together. So I'm gonna bring in a couple pieces. So let's bring in the circle first. And I'm gonna make it small. And I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna weld it together. I'm gonna make this one piece. You may not like it, and that's totally fine. If you don't like welding it, um, then you can leave it as is, okay? But I'm going to weld this so that this, this side of the vest is all one piece. I don't want to deal with um, the 10 pieces that it's in or however many pieces it, it is. So I'm gonna duplicate this just so that you can see what it looks like before and after, okay? So that you can decide whether or not you wanna do this step. So I'm gonna grab my three new circles and my white and I'm gonna weld it. So here is my new vest. This is what it looks like as opposed to this. Again, it's personal preference whether you think this ruins your image and I'm gonna show you what that looks like up here. So it's gonna look like this, which to me doesn't change anything, um, but I prefer to deal with four pieces instead of 14 pieces or however many pieces it is, okay? So I'm going to weld these as well. So it's like, like I said, totally up to you. I'm going to bring in a circle and you don't have to weld these pieces to each other. What you could do is you can weld, let me make it small. I'm gonna weld it to the vest. So that way you can still have a little bit of the details, but um, let's do this. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna put this at the bottom here so that gets those two attached. If you really want the details and keep these three separated, that's fine as well. Um, but I'm not. <laughs> I am going to weld them because think of all the other pieces you still have. It is a lot of floating pieces. So I'm gonna you know, make my life a little simple. I'm gonna do this and weld it. So you can either have four, oh, you know what? This is five pieces, right? One, two, three, four, five, as opposed to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna delete this. This is what you have. You can either keep it like this, because technically it can cut like this, or you can contour or slice to separate out these pieces so that you can, um, make them closer and more efficient on the cutting screen. All right, so I'm gonna leave it as is because we have a lot to do. I'm gonna zoom out and let's see what other colors we still have. Okay, we have the red bandana. Oh, here's the face. So let's look at this face. Oh man, these this is so many pieces. Um, I'm gonna ungroup it. So we have this is the skin color. So the hand is all one piece. The hand is one piece here. The face is one piece and then the neck. So actually it's pretty cool. So we can just slice this out. And I brought in a circle for some reason, but it's fine. Let's make the circle big. We'll use the same circle to slice out these pieces because right now this piece is 12.9 by 21, so we can't cut it unless you have, no, you can't cut it. So we're gonna slice it out. We're gonna slice out, oops, the hand and the circle. Oh my gosh, sorry. I'm having a hard time here. Okay, so we're gonna go down, grab the skin and the circle and slice. So now these two pieces are still attached, but the hand is separated from the others. 
So the hand is 3.4 by 3.195, so that's good. Let's go in here and slice out the face. So here's the other hand. Oh man, what happened here? Shoot, what piece is that? Oh, hold on, let's upload it and let's see what we have here. And what we can do is with this with this image, this is our visual. Let's flatten it so it's a print and cut. So it's one piece. And let's see, what did I just slice out by accident? Um, oh, I sliced off his head right here. Okay. So I didn't do a good circle. So let's undo this for a second. So you see, it should have been the hand and then the face was one image, but I ended up with another piece and I'll show you why. So let's backtrack a little bit and it's a good learning lesson as are all mistakes, right? <laughs> let's see if we can undo all the way back there. Oh, see, that's what happened. His face was not completely enclosed. So let's backtrack one more. Okay, so I should have put this circle up here because now it's, oh no, it's still not. You wanna make sure that because this cut out, none of the skin is right there. Now we're good. So we're gonna take these two and slice. So when you're slicing, and you have two pieces, like in this case left, you want one piece completely covered by whatever shape you're using to slice it out. So you wanna make sure that nothing was sitting out over here. Okay, so now his face is complete. So his face is 7.6 by 9.2, great, the hand is good. Okay, now with the face, what I like to do is, I like to make a duplicate copy change it to black and then go to contour and hide all. The reason why you want to do this is because if there are any seams coming down the face, now arrange send to the front so that you can have that front piece up front. Now if you have any seams going through the eyes, you won't see it because we have that black piece underneath, anything through the mouth will be covered. So, I mean, even though we have the eyes, there's still space here. And I feel like, especially for the face, your eyes are drawn to that um, when you're looking at this piece and you don't want any seams coming down and distracting you from, from the whole thing. Now, we could weld this little piece because if there's a seam coming down here, this is not enclosed, it's open. And that's why we weren't able to black out this piece. What you can do is you can bring in a circle and you can close up this seam. Let me make this smaller. We want to go right here. Let's zoom in so you can really see what we're doing here. Okay, so here's our circle. So if we go right around here, grab these two pieces and weld, then now you have a full circle. I mean, a, a fully enclosed face. So now this is what the face will look like. So the, if, there, if there is a seam going down the eyes, um, oops, sorry, arrange, send to the back. All your seams are covered. Okay, all right, so let's finish up this guy. Okay, so here's the red. Now, the red is in quite a few pieces as well. If you don't want all these pieces, again, you can weld them together and it would still look good. 
you won't notice the details. Um, I would at least definitely weld these three pieces together. So this, instead of four pieces, if it were two pieces, it's still way more manageable than, so I would make it really small and get these three pieces to touch. So there's your bandana. I think it still looks like a bandana. <laughs> okay, so our red is done. Let's look at that, okay. Now let's look at this yellow. Holy moly, what is this? Okay, so then this is separate, okay. And this is separate. All right, so let's zoom in and see what we have here. What is this piece? Oh my, okay. So there's a couple things that you can do. If you are dead set on having all these details, and this is this is small, it's about this big, right? Um, I would either do this yellow. Oh, wait a minute. The yellow is solid and it's the, okay, so let's ungroup this and see what we have. Oh, wait a minute, so this is cool. The black is all one piece and the yellow is one piece. So it's just two pieces. All right, I am, thank you designer. This is awesome. So the black sits on top of the yellow. The yellow is one big oval and this black is all one piece. Designer, you are awesome. So that piece is all good. Let's zoom out. So this is all good. Wow, I love you. That was wonderful, okay. So let's see, what do we have here? This is the brown. I would, I'm not gonna do it because we still have so many pieces, but if it were me what, and I, were, I was doing this piece, I would definitely slice out these pieces so they're three individual pieces and then I would move them closer when I go to the cut page. Okay, let's see. Same, oh my gosh, come on, ungroup. I would do that the same with this as well. Okay, all right. So we have, holy, this piece, ungroup. All right, oh, what do we have here? I would weld right here. And then these pieces, I would weld this together right here. Let's zoom in so you can see. I would put a little circle right here, make this, and this, I would weld this together. So these three pieces become one and then keep these separate for the details. Right now it's fine to cut as is. So I'm gonna move it aside. The shoes, I would definitely weld these boots. So let's see, let's ungroup it for one. Let's move out the yellow. So the yellow, I would slice out these pieces so that I can group them closer together when we go to make it. The boots, okay, I would slice the boots in half so that each boot is separate. And then I would weld the boots together, um, the individual pieces. Like I would put a circle right here. So this piece, this piece, and this piece would become one. And then this is already grouped together. So it's one, two, three, four, four pieces. That's how, you know, I'll just do it for you. Let's bring in this circle. And I would weld that together. So these pieces are all one, and then you have two, three, four. So you're your left boot is four pieces. On this one, I would probably weld together maybe these three pieces. So it'd be one, two, three, three pieces. Because I don't think it changes the image at all. And you still have all the details. I'll show you the details here. So I would put this circle right here. Okay, let's weld that together. And you still have all the details of this opening right here and this opening, but 
these three pieces are now one. So you have one, two, three, three pieces, okay? Now you need to separate the boots. So let's bring in a square. And let's slice this out. So now you have this boot, and then you can get rid of all your slice results. And then you have this boot. Okay, so we are done with the image except for the black background, which is the main part of our off the mat. So I'm gonna show you that right now. And then we'll go to the make it screen so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So our, what's great about this file is you're gonna have a seam here in the black vest, but like I said, it's gonna be barely noticeable. Everything else was seamless. So, oops, let's get rid of this over here. Um, everything else is seamless. So here's our black background. All of your colors are gonna sit on top so Woody, even at 40 inches, is going to look amazing. He's going to be pretty much seamless. So let's start building our squares. Here, let me move. Let's move this here for a second. I'm going to move all this over so that it'll just be out of the way. Okay, so here's our black image, our black background. We're going to slice him up into pieces that the Cricut can cut because right now he's 22.8 by 40 inches. So, all right, we're going to do this. Um, let's bring in a square. Now, we're using 12 by 12 cardstock. So technically Cricut can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But I don't like dealing with half inches, so I'm gonna make my squares 11 by 11. So let's start by putting it right here, just somewhere in the image, okay? Then you're gonna go to the position feature and we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 38.9 becomes 39 and 1.4 becomes one. The reason why we do this is because when we move the images and we move the squares, if we're dealing with whole numbers, we will still be able to easily make it flushed with each other, okay? You'll see in a second, especially on this project, because he is 22.8 inches, right? So we're gonna need to adjust because 11 plus 11 is only 22, so I'm short a little bit. But I'm gonna show you how to do that with still using 11 by 11. So here's our first square, right? Let's duplicate it. Let's put the next square really, really close to it and then round. So 50.2 becomes 50, 1.056 becomes one. I know these two squares are flushed because my first square is at 39. So that's the X coordinate is the one running across. So it's saying go over 39 units and go down one unit. That's the beginning of our square. So it's at 39, right? 39 plus 11 is 50 and it's at 50. So I know they're right next to each other. So let's grab both squares, hit the shift key and grab the square over here and duplicate because now we have a set of flush squares. We're gonna put it really close and make all four flushed. So 39.1 becomes 39, 12.1 becomes 12. All right, so now we have four squares that are flushed, right? So hit the shift key and grab all four and duplicate. And we're gonna put it down here. I'm just gonna right now make them all flushed, okay? So 38.9 becomes 39, 23 is already good. So now scroll down over here all the way to the bottom to get your black image. And we're going to go to arrange and send to the front. And we're gonna see where we're slicing everything. So what we wanna do is, I'm gonna zoom in. What you don't want is, I will show you right now. What you don't want is something like this, where you slice it off and you have a small piece. Our goal right now is to cut this into eight big chunks not seven with one small finger right here where you have to keep track of this little piece, tape it together. It's just gonna make um, make it hard for you. So we wanna put him down. So for instance, this first square, it's gonna be one big chunk of his hat, one big chunk of his face and arm. 
Um, this is going to go down here. This is another chunk right here. This is good so far. And then his legs. So let's zoom out for a second. So his leg, let's move these two squares. So you're going to um, hit the shift key and grab this one. Oops, hold on. Let's see if I can grab this. Um, it's not letting me grab that square. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's move this down. Okay. So let's move these two squares. We're going to hit the shift key and grab these two squares. And I'm going to move my face for a second. I'm going to move it over here. Okay. And I want to move these, I'm going to hit the shift key while I'm moving it. Come on, design space, move my squares. <laughs> it's not letting me move it. Okay, there we go. So you can see how I'm shifting it over a little bit. I want to basically, oh, it's shifting everything. Hold on. Let me grab these two squares. Okay. And I'm, oh. Okay, let me grab these two squares again. And I, oh my gosh, okay, maybe it's not gonna let me do it. So maybe I'll do it like, oh, I wanted to move it. I wanna get the boots. Ugh, okay. So this, I don't like this right here, but there's really nothing I can do about it. So, let's look at this. Oh, I just made a mess of this file. Okay, hold on. Let's move him back. Okay. This is just gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay, so I need to move this square over a little bit. And then I'm gonna round, so that's gonna be 36. And then I'm gonna move this one over to make sure that it's, oh my gosh, stop moving that. Okay, <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna move this one close enough and then make that 47 and 34. So you see when you use whole numbers, it's easy to realign it back up. So I really don't like where those two squares are. I'm gonna move it over even a little bit more. Because um, maybe right here is good. It's gonna cut off this spur but it's okay, because then it cuts up. Okay, so I think we're good right now. Be Unfortunately, because of his stance, I'm not gonna get really big pieces, but this is as good as it's gonna get. So let's scroll out for a second, zoom out, and let's start slicing him up. So let's slice out this bottom, and we're just gonna make our way all the way and slice out each piece, okay? So now we're slicing out this, Here, here, and we're just going all the way around to slice him out. And I think we're done after this. Okay, so now I'm gonna move 
all his pieces over and keep them in order just to make sure that all my pieces are good for one and then two this helps me after I cut it on the Cricut I can go back and look up design space and see where each piece goes you think that it's it's obvious where the pieces go but I have trouble every single time so <laughs> that might just be me all right so see this piece is where this piece you're gonna have to attach it right so that's kind of annoying but that's the only small piece I think besides the spur so it's for 40 inches that's really not bad so there's that piece and then there's this piece all right so all of this we can get rid of now let's go to the make it page and see what we have this is this is a lot of pieces so let's go to make it And I didn't want to save it because I didn't want to lose the project. I don't know if you guys have seen that glitch lately, but sometimes I go to save it and it's it disappears for a day. It says it's completely gone. I can't access it at all. And then the next day I log in and there's my project. So this is, like I said, a lot of pieces. So a quick drink break. Um... I really hope it sorts itself out because I want to show you how to move the pieces over and all right well I'm gonna give you my end of the video spiel so when the, I'll give it some time so comments feedback questions please just post them so that I can answer back and then if you have a special request I would love to help you out with a tutorial so please just give me your request tell me what you want to do the name the age uh, a spinner on the cake topper or an off the mat that's specifically 37 inches or whatever. I am here to help you because I love doing these tutorials because you still need to recreate it. So you're doing it right next to my video and learning all the steps and learning the ins and outs of design space. So I think it's a great way to learn. Um, so anyway, Post it here. If you want to send me files or anything specific, you can send it to Anne, A N, at theuselesscrafter.com. And darn it, this is not sorting. So I think it's just because it's so many pieces and Design Space has been super glitchy today. Um, you can pretty much watch any of my off the mat Design Space tutorials, and I do show you how to move things to different mats, how to change the orientation. So, yeah, you'll have to do that. I'm sorry. I'll see you guys next time.